Hey, it's Kip K for Make Magazine. Have you ever taken a close look at a new $20 bill with either a microscope or maybe a magnifying glass? Well, you're going to find on there, if you know where to look, what's called microprint, which is small words and numbers that are there for security reasons. Well, today, we're going to take a microscope to the next level by building a lensless microscope where you can actually record what you see on this week's Weekend Project. You'll find the lensless microscope in Make Volume 14, page 64. The main components are a mini CCD monochrome camera, a 9 volt battery clip, a single pole single throw switch, a 3 millimeter or 5 millimeter LED, a 1K resistor, a project box, and some 2 inch PVC pipe and caps. Now the first step is to take apart the CCD camera. We'll remove the cap and uh, the power and video cable that's going to the board. And then we're going to remove a couple of screws on the back which will actually remove the entire lens piece and all we'll be left with is the imager. I used some blue painters masking tape and cut a very small square to cover the sensitive imager glass and protect it. Then out to the shop to drill a small hole in the project box and use a file, we want to square that hole up to be just about the same size as the imager. Now you'll have to inspect your CCD camera and make sure that there's nothing taller than the imager. In this case, the video and power connector was too tall, so I trimmed it down using some snips. And then bent the pins down and reconnected the power, video, and ground cables. Now taking some ordinary silicone sealant, we want to completely cover the imager board in silicone. Then take the board and line it up with the square hole you made and glue it to the bottom of the project box. You can clear away any silicone to get a better view, but make sure it's lined up with the blue square tape that you put on earlier. Then you're going to have to wait it out about 24 hours, take your hobby knife, and start cutting away carefully at the silicone to reveal just the blue tape, which you'll remove, and if all went well, perfectly clean imager glass. Okay, now back out to the shop with our drill and our hole saw. We're going to cut open a 1-inch hole in one of the 2-inch PVC end caps and then drill another hole in the other PVC cap about the size of the LED. I also drilled three more holes in the hobby box, one for the video cable, one for the wires coming out to go to the LED, and one for the switch. After installing the switch, it's time to wire things up. We'll go negative to one side of the switch, which will go to the negative side of the LED. And then our positive line will go to our 1K resistor, our 9-volt clip, and to the other end of our LED. Okay, put everything inside the hobby box, including the power source for your camera. Close up the box, and then we're going to put our LED in our one end cap and solder our connections to the LED. Flip the switch and we should have power and we do going to our LED. Now using our silicone sealant we need to glue down our PVC cap centered over the imager hole. Okay we need something to block a lot of the reflections of the LED going through our microscope tube and we're going to use a piece of cardboard and draw out a two inch circle cut that out and also cut a smaller hole in the middle and then make some little slices about a quarter inch deep with your hobby knife and carefully place it inside of our microscope tube about an inch from the bottom. Okay, we are about done. The first specimen we're going to try out is just some regular table salt. So I sprinkled a little table salt in and we take our microscope tube and place it in our base. And the last step is to hook up a video cable to our lensless microscope. And here are the test results. This works really well and is very clear. You can see the salt crystals perfectly, so it's time to try some other things out. I tried some human hair, a very tiny ant, and the scraping off of the inside of a cheek. The ideas are almost limitless of the things that you can inspect under the lensless microscope. It's fun and easy to make, and we'll see you next time with another weekend project. <laughs>